Have, have a seat in your car. Have a seat in your car. I'm not going to tell you again. If you don't get back in the, both of you don't get in the car, you're going to get arrested. I got to fight that thing. My ball is hurt. Get in the car. No. All right. In the city of Heron, Illinois, a police officer orders a man who just had a vasectomy to get back in his car. I got to fight that thing. My ball is hurt. My ball is hurt, man. Hey, I got my baby in the car right there. Hey, I don't really care. Give me your other hand. I'm trying to bring it. Hey. <laughs> Relax. Hey, Put your hands behind your back. I'm gonna my brother right quick. Put your hands behind your back. You're gonna get tased. <laughs> Tyler, get over here. He just had a bite. Unit. Got the right hand. <laughs> get down. Oh, he just had a bite. Oh. He died. Get on the ground. <laughs> Put your hands behind your back. Your hands behind your back. So the Heron Police Department throw this man on the ground and tase him. He just had a bite Dude, all you had to do is get back in the car. My baby is dead. Y'all pulled him off for no reason. He didn't even do anything. We're pulling over to the house. You guys didn't have your damn headlights on. Wait a minute. You abuse citizens for not having headlights on, allegedly? Well, y'all do me like that. You didn't have your headlights on. He just had a f***ing done. What are you doing? Oh. I'm not standing out of noise no more. What are you guys doing? Yeah, yeah, what the f*** is wrong with you guys? Would you quit hollering? No, he just had a f***ing sex. That doesn't done. allow him to do what you want to do. What the so the officer who got us to this point is then telling the victim's significant other to stop hollering after they just assaulted her loved one. What is wrong with you guys? God damn. I'm fine. What the f is wrong with you guys? Do you want her cuffed up too? Don't get home! Alright. Sure, it's lying back. Don't try to make it seem like I'm resisting because I'm not. I'm not resisting. My daughter is in the car! He then puts her in handcuffs because, hey, why not? Language hurts my feelings. You were told multiple times to stay in the car. Yeah, you did not. I'm concerned because he's been having problems with his That mom. doesn't allow you he to get out of the car on a traffic stop. He ordered you several times. He just had a bisectomy done. My daughter is in the car. We'll take care of the child. No, you're not. My daughter is in the car. My daughter is in the car. We're not doing. Seat, we're not doing anything wrong. Have a seat. You're being detained. Have a we're seat. We're not doing anything wrong. Have officer. a seat in the car. Yes, but we're not doing anything Have wrong. Have a seat My in, the car. Is in the car. My daughter is in the car. This is ugly. I feel the pain in this mother's voice, and I truly hope you do as well. The Southern.com wrote, During the encounter with Kibby and Crawford, police used a taser on him repeatedly and put Crawford's fiance in cuffs while his four-month-old baby can be heard crying in the car, according to video. Dash cam footage shows 28-year-old Crawford driving his car through a neighborhood before pulling into his driveway, where he and his wife, Cabrera Roberts, exited the vehicle. Crawford is being charged with a traffic violation and the arresting officer on record was David Laux per an online court's record database. A statement released by the department on social media said the reason for the initial stop was that there were no taillights illuminated on Crawford's vehicle. This allegation is being disputed by Nancy Maxwell, a local activist and founder of the Southern Illinois Unity Coalition. In the beginning, there's no reason for using a taser, the wrestling, the cussing everybody out, leaving the four-month-old baby in the car. It didn't Call for that, Maxwell said. I see tail lights in the video, and I see headlights when he drives into the driveway. So what was out that they needed to pursue him so desperately? He only went a half a block to his home, where, of course, I'm imagining he felt safe pulling in the driveway. I feel like Crawford drove into his own driveway, got out of the car, and then he put his hands on the hood. He then told them he just had surgery and did not want to sit down in the car any longer because it was uncomfortable, said Chastity Mays 
a member of Race Unity Group and associate director of the nonprofit A Gift of Love. So all that saying Crawford should have complied, I don't agree. How about we have police who see us all as human and have a conversation with the individual instead of being racist and using excessive force, Mays added. I feel traumatized, Crawford said. It's mentally messing me up. It's messing with my family really bad. The chief of police, though, David Doris, said he stands by the officer's actions and adds that suspects who don't comply raise red flags. He added, how about people out there in the public comply, Doris said. It's not time to hold court on the side of the road. It's time to hold court at the courthouse, which is just beyond loony. They were just messing because I feel like I was just driving while black, Crawford said. I feel every time I see hair in police, I jump. I'm looking over my shoulder. Chief Doris would add, Mr. Crawford does not need to look over his shoulder and be worried about the hair in PD. There was no racial profiling, no racial bias. However, an Illinois Department of Transportation study published in August showed, according to an article on Week.com, black people in the state are 2.8 times more likely to be pulled over for a minor traffic offense compared to white people.